Hello everyone, just want to do a little video uh, looking at the 12Z model runs that have been tripping out over the past hour or two. Of course, no live stream. Uh, you see, I had a migraine last night, but uh, maybe feel a little bit on the poorly side um, today. So, so uh, li li live stream is very um, demanding. So uh, physically, you know. So uh, I wanted to have a bit of rest uh, today and this evening. But uh, doing a quick video upload, no problem whatsoever at all with that. So I'm just going to quickly zip through the uh, ECM, the GM and the GFS 12Z and uh, bring you up to date with them. Had a, we've had a very, very interesting GFS 12Z run uh, show up. If you're enjoying the videos on my channel at the moment, please can you click like, make sure you're subscribed and uh, drop a comment and let us know uh, what you think. Uh, Gasway was certainly round up and the first spring update was released today as well, by the way, so have a look at those two videos if you have not yet done so. Right, so uh, let's bring you up to date then. Uh, this is the ECM uh, just updated, hot off the press is uh, around two minutes ago uh, finished updating so uh, this is how the ECM is looking for Wednesday so I've uh, got a ridge through the country on Wednesday going to be quite cold we'll bring a system in from off the Atlantic that could bring rain sleet and snow uh, across the country really struggling to get this low through the country as it comes up against the high pressure over uh, Scandinavia and then we build a ridge um, on Friday and into uh, Saturday so it turns drier Probably turns wider on Saturday as this low pressure starts to come in from off the Atlantic. And then it goes uh, sort of quite windy uh, and unsettled through the second half of next weekend. Strong northwest wind and quite cold with that northwesterly wind. Uh, as well. And then we have cold and northerly winds digging in as we move into the following weeks. This is Monday the 18th of January. Cold northerly is digging in. There's a weather system involved in that as well, so that might produce a little bit of snow. Um, uh, we go through to uh, Tuesday 19th of January, 216 hours. Then high pressure is toppling in from off the Atlantic. Um, still cold at this point with winds in from the north, but by the time we get through to uh, day 10, which is Wednesday the 20th of January, January which we're actually back into uh, mildish uh, sort of westerly type winds with the ECM. So not particularly cold with the ECM 12. So there is a bit of a cold snap there for two or three days. <clears throat> Excuse me, right, this is GM then, uh, under a little bit of a ridge uh, on Wednesday, ahead of this weather system coming in off the Atlantic, that could bring some rain, sleet or snow, that stalls through the country, this will be a little bit better for snow, uh, GM will be a little bit better for snow for northern parts of the country, Wednesday through to Thursday, I would have uh, thought, then high pressure builds in, on Friday, then we're back into, so it'll be mainly dry and cold on Friday. Uh, Saturday, uh, we're back into like a mile of westerly with another weather system coming in uh, from off the Atlantic. And then same idea as we move beyond uh, sort of days, uh, days uh, seven and beyond, we start to dig colder air in from the north with the GM. Uh, so a northerly blast setting up with the GM. Uh, cold northerly winds, there's uh, weather systems involved with this as well, so so that could bring uh, spells of, uh, you know, snow showers along the spells of sleet and snow uh, coming down uh, across the country on those northerly winds. 20 ice bars back, the winds go a very long way north, plunging southwards. So the GM, much more of a northerly with the GM. Uh, around day sort of uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, I can't show you day 10 chart, unfortunately, because it's still only showing uh, yesterday's, which is annoying. Um, but around day sort of uh, 8, 9, 10, uh, proper northerly with the GM and uh, much more so than the ECM. And then, of course, we've got the GFS and uh, look at this. So we start again on Wednesday uh, when we'll have weather system coming in off the Atlantic struggling to get in across the country, bring outbreaks of rain, sleet or snow. Uh, as we head on into Friday and through to the weekend, we'll have quite a bit of high pressure down to our south and southwest. Low pressure will be up to the northwest. So into next weekend, probably turning more and south with outbreaks of rain in the north. But then again, same idea with the GFS, just a little bit differently, but same idea with the GFS uh, as with the GM. Uh, in that low pressure begins to plunge southwards. This is setting up much more of a Greenland high. That's the difference with the GFS compared to the GM and also the, particularly the ECM GF, it sets up a proper blocking uh, feature again at 1,050 millibars or 1,045 millibars over Greenland and that turns the wind into the north. This is a proper sustained northerly blast as we move up towards day 10. So that's how look with the GFS 12 as we get to uh, day 10, which is Wednesday 20th of January. Uh, we've got cold air established across not just the UK but much of Northern Europe and low pressure coming in off the Atlantic having a go 
uh, displacing that cold weather. Uh, look at the other uh, temperatures. I've got minus 10 Celsius ice firm into Scotland. And uh, so the, in the extended range, the GFS 12Z sets up a very, very cold and snowy pattern. This would bring heavy snow, disruptive snow and blizzards to many parts of the country as we go just beyond day 10. Thursday, 21st of January, proper old snow bank going on, especially focused on England and Wales. And it just keeps going. Another load pushes up from the south back again, bring more heavy snow there around the 22nd of January. Uh, and, and a very cold east northeast wind setting up as well. Um, so, so this has everything very cold and also really snowy uh, and, you know, snow drifts, blizzards, all of that going on. Uh, with the GFS 12s there. What a run uh, this was. It's the main reason I thought I'd do this little video for you tonight. Looking very cold with the upper air temperatures there on the 23rd of January. Uh, we tried to bring a next, the, the next low in off the Atlantic. Trying to bring something a little bit milder in from the uh, Atlantic. But we actually finished up taking the low to the east and pulling back cold <laughs> northerly and easterly winds uh, again by the aid of the GFS 12Z 26th of January. An absolute classic, uh, classic GFS 12Z run. Um, tonight. Uh, imagine if we've been live streaming that. Uh, just to show you the precipitation type forecast based on that GFS run at the weather outlook. So uh, plenty of rain around over the coming days as it is going to be uh, mild, mild. Some snow across Scotland but primarily over high ground. So it's getting a little bit colder again as we come towards the end of the week. Uh, maybe just a little bit of snow there through eastern parts of England by Thursday and into Friday. Probably not amounting to too much, but an indication it's getting colder again uh, towards the end of this week. And uh, then we go into the following week, and this is where we start drawing in that cold air from the north. And look how snowy it starts to get. So initially the heavy snow uh, around the 20th of January, uh, that's day 10 of course, is over Scotland. Um, but then the south starts getting it, so really heavy snow coming into the south of England and Wales uh, beyond that. Another big snow event there sometime around 21st of January. Um, and the snow just keeps on coming. Another really big snow event there, 22nd of January. I mean, if it came off, the country would vary, but bear in mind, it's very unlikely to verify. Almost certainly it won't verify. But, um, but yeah, it's, it, you don't see uh, snowy runs like this all that often. Uh, to be honest, uh, more snow there, about more snow there on the 25th of uh, January, more in the way of rain in the southwest, but lots of heavy snow further northwards and eastwards um, as well. So, so yeah, what a what a 12 Z uh, from the GFS uh, tonight, very very entertaining. If you like cold and snowy weather. Right, if you've enjoyed this uh, little 12Z update, please can you click like. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worthies and let us know in the comments what you think. Thanks. Thank you so much, everybody. Doing that. If you subscribe, you'll be able to see future weather content. And we'll keep you updated as we progress on through this uh, winter. And if we get anything like the GFS 12Z, <laughs> then uh, we're really going to be in for some snowy times. But again, it's very unlikely to verify. Right, uh, that's it for videos uh, for today. So I just want to do this little little uh, skip through for 12Z. Um, so that's it for videos for today. Tomorrow we'll bring you up to date with all of the latest happenings and developments, of course. But uh, for this video and for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.